Welcome back to the show. Let me just throw it right out there. TL is not pregnant, okay? No, Before mother, she starts getting not, any emails. Do not phone me. Paula, don't call her. Okay, that's not why we're doing this segment. It is, <laughs> it is something important to talk about, of course, because pregnancy, I, I, I've had many, many friends that have gone through it, and, you know, it's, it's up and down, and we're going to give you some great tips for a great pregnancy. And Dr. Natalie Beauchamp joins us. Dr. Natalie, great to have you. Hello, Welcome hello. back to the Good show. Good to see you guys. Um, I, don't, I don't think people mix chiropractic care and, and pregnancy. They don't think yes. about something like this, do I, I they? Get that it makes office. sense, Yeah, though, it does. Right? And that's what we're going to go over. And I, bought, I brought some great, actually, I've got a great book, a great book so don't uh, let me leave without talking about this book. Okay. It's, it's an awesome manual. So what I thought I would do is go over a few uh, postural things that are happening when women are pregnant. Well, first of all, it's safe to get adjusted, and we're going to look at some stats that it can decrease labor time. So, you know, you ask okay. your mother, are you interested in decreasing your labor time? by 39 percent and yeah so, you know, that's that's pretty easy right so um, let's talk about well first of all misalignment in the spine occurs when we have stressors so physical psychological nutritional stresses mm -hmm. or biochemical but on top of that women that are pregnant have two more which are gravitational changes because when your tummy starts to come out your your pelvis is rolling oh, in sure. so that's one okay. and then the other thing is hormones are kicking in for right. your pelvis to be able to expand for the delivery which is great mm -hmm. but it's not like okay time to to deliver and then suddenly the hormones are kicking in so okay. sometimes it happens like a, a gradual process and some women will have issues uh, with uh, ligaments that are too lax you know you always hear of the pregnant woman ro rolling her ankle sure you know it, it can happen but it's also because of the ligament laxity and I thought I would just squeeze that in here but fertility uh, a lot of people don't associate fertility issues with their spine but mm. if you have misalignment in your spine it will affect the uh, reproductive system, especially at, when it comes to the area of the sacrum. So, so, that's so how, does it, how does it do that then? How well, it's it every it? nerve goes somewhere in your body. So right. whichever one goes to your fallopian tube, your uterus, and even for the man, uh, the sperms and, and, and the testicles and so forth. So every organ is innervated by your spine. So if there's right. pinching or irritation, it's not sending the signal properly. So and there's tons of research actually that is showing how regular chiropractic care has had had tremendous impact on increasing fertility in, in couples. So, Natalie, then you are backing up somewhat, and if people are having trouble conceiving now, yeah. this is one of the things Something that they should that, be looking into. Yeah, oh, definitely. And like you said, yeah. I don't think many yeah. people would think and of I, I can talk, as a you know, from a practical experience, I've been practiced for 15 years, and I can think of at least 10 couples that were having really big issues to conceive, and they have one kid, two kids. Now, it's hard to measure, and, mm -hmm. but there are some control randomized studies that have been done, but it's, it's pretty powerful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when it, come to, uh, it comes to spinal curves, uh, obviously, as the body changes, there are things that we have to look for. For instance, the uh, posture of the head, which can lead to headache, upper back pain because of the increase size in, in the breast and then low back. Uh, often women will experience constipation, uh, going to the bathroom to pee all the mm -hmm. time, and also pelvic uh, pain in the front because the symphysis are not uh, aligned as well as they should. And again, that ligament laxity uh, plays mm -hmm. into in a, a big role. Now look at those steps. Adjustment during pregnancy in hospital study uh, found that 50% decrease in the need to, of painkiller during delivery. That's wow, huge. That's 50%. huge. That is a yeah. huge number and then decreased sure. labor time for the first baby by 24%, and then 39 after the first baby. Wow. So that's you know yeah. that's huge it, to me. There's it's, women it's, out there that have spent hours <laughs> and hours yeah. of yeah. labor. That my are going, sister, yeah. Uh, yeah. 26 oh, yeah. hours of labor. Yeah. Oh, my. Well, it makes sense. I mean, let's look back at the, at this here. If you know you're pelvis is misaligned, the baby is uh, going to have some issues to, to get out. And we're going right. to talk about breech uh, babies mm -hmm. in, in, in a minute, but that's, that's that. So tips for caring for your spine during pregnancy. Uh, don't try to sit up, and I see that with my patient all the time, get off the table, whoop, you know, no, don't do that anymore. Go on your side, push with your elbow, because you don't, last thing you want okay. is strain your abdominal right. muscle. Uh, unlock your knees when, uh, when standing, we should do that anyway. Um, avoid that position like this to arch your back 
act like this. Yeah, because you yeah. see it all the time, yeah. right? Yeah. People it's, it's, walking around I think around it becomes like a this. kind of a natural thing. Yeah. Avoid lifting and twisting. Uh, don't stay in the same position for too long. You really need to, to move around. And also with exercise, that's my next slide, keep your pelvis muscles strong and exercise regularly. Now, if you've never exercised in your life, I'm not going to say go start training for a marathon. Right. Continue with what your normal exercise are. Um, have your spine checked by a chiropractor, huge, and the frequency of care is very different uh, for all my moms that I adjust in the practice is that some women are okay right to the end every two or three weeks and some of them are really not holding their adjustment very well and that's why I have this here, it's called a sacroiliac belt and basically you wrap it around um, your SI area which is below your low back and under the tummy and I, you know, I don't suggest wearing that all the time but to give relief, you know, to the mom, especially if they're still working or, or very active towards the end. So that's a great okay. tool to have. And now I just want to jump in here for a second and reassure everybody, it's completely safe to be adjusted while pregnant. Of I course. Think, I, no, of but course, I think that yeah. that would be yeah, a concern. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It is, it is, it is. Like the thought, I mean, you know, because... Uh, if you've ever been adjusted, sometimes even the sound, you know, is yeah. like, whoa, right? But it is, and, and yeah. I'm glad you're bringing this up because, and that's kind of my, my I'm going to move to this slide. This is a patient yesterday getting adjusted. I asked her if I, I she's just found out she was pregnant, so her <laughs> tummy's not that big, but we can raise the table like this, mm -hmm. and you can lie on your stomach, but if the table, the belly gets too big, I can adjust sitting. I can okay. adjust with the activator only. Like right. there are ways, different mm -hmm. ways. So please don't be scared by the sound of an adjustment. Uh, you know, nothing to be fearful about, but there's other ways to do to, and adjust. So don't let that stop you from right. seeing a chiropractor because most chiropractor like myself use different tools and, 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 and techniques. Yeah. Okay. So um, exercise, easier label, uh, it label, <laughs> labor, decrease uh, average of two hours, 24% less C-section, reduce use of forceps because that's the other big thing if the baby's not presenting itself properly then you need forcep and suction cup and we talked about kids last time and the trauma of delivery so you really yes. want to make sure that you're doing it not just for your comfort but for everything and lastly because I think we only have a minute uh, a lot of uh, people consult uh, chiropractors when their baby is presenting breach and it's called the Webster technique uh, and one in 25 babies present like this so oh, really? yeah so that's a great technique and it's basically just adjusting the sacrum and the pelvis and working on relaxing the ligaments so the pelvis can open and then the baby can turn if hmm. you know obviously uh, more naturally than having manipulation done uh, on, under you know at the hospital and so forth you want to mention this book quickly as well yes right? thank you You're very this welcome. is an awesome book I tell my patient this is from birth to asking the keys to the car. <laughs> so that's what I say. It covers everything from nutrition when you're pregnant, nutrition with your kids. It's uh, this lady's a chiropractor had four uh, babies. Uh, she's talking about vaccination and the pros and the cons. And I like her approach because she's not left field or right field. She's right in the middle, giving right. people tools and find out and get educated. It's awesome. It Excellent. really is awesome. Yeah. And I think it's on sale at uh, Chapters and, and Amazon. So Well Adjusted Baby by Dr. Jennifer Barham Florini, and whoever has four kids, I would say, let's listen to them. Yeah, I think she knows what she's talking <laughs> yeah, exactly. about, as yeah. you do too, Na Dr. Natalie. Always yeah. a pleasure having you on the show. Thank, Thank you guys. so much. Good Great tips and tricks for your for your good pregnancy.